So, to address the elephant in the room, why should we have a post-disciplinary agenda? Because most people still say you need first a disciplinary education and then you can diversify, you can go interdisciplinary or even transdisciplinary. And I struggle with that. I understand people want to belong. They want to be in certain groups. But what we should understand is that these groups are originated mostly in the Western thinking, in the Enlightenment. They were constructed by us. And they were a chance to go deep. So do not misunderstand me. I don't think we shouldn't go deep. We st still need people who really, really focus on specific types of knowledge. But the point is, it doesn't make anyone better if you do a specific branch of science. It doesn't make anyone better to have any particular perspective. Because what we're talking about is we're talking about pieces of the puzzle, at least in empirical research. And deconstructing knowledge and going really deep into decolonializing knowledge means that we say bye-bye to these constructs that we created. And that's really difficult for people because we are still in this context of constructs that we feel so deeply, that resonate with people, that we build whole study programs around, that created a whole like job profiles and so on. So what would be the alternative? Why should we criticize this? Well, first of all, let's go through the different viewpoints. And then it's clear that this type of knowledge is unreasonable. And I don't mean in a sense of Immanuel Kant. I just mean we are looking at pieces of the puzzle, yes. But we also need to combine these. We need to work together in order to overcome the problems we face. So it's fairly clear that this will not be solved by a singular discipline by a singular perspective. So it's just unreasonable to be stuck in this one thing, whatever it is. The second thing is it diminishes diversity because we need the diversity of perspectives. We cannot anticipate in these wicked times how we are going to solve things. So we need the diverse perspectives, especially also because the oppressed voices need to be heard and we need the knowledge that well goes well beyond Western science. So that's the other struggle that we have. Well, and the third thing is a utilitarian thing, because science right now works on a three-year time scale. But this is not the equivalent of the problems that we face. They operate on a vastly different scale, sometimes faster, sometimes much slower. In order to solve them, we need long-term thinking. We need to overcome that. And this is why we sometimes need initial investments that we can't really justify in the current research logic. And that cannot be explained by the distributional logic that modern science tries to explain to us. It just doesn't make any sense, I believe. So what should we do alternatively? We need to learn together. We need to trust each other. We need to understand each other's language. And of course, we need to open up. Science needs to open up. We need the knowledge from society and from other cultures. We need to have a critical perspective. We need to examine our history. So these are all things that go vastly beyond current funding schemes, but that are necessary in order to solve the problems that we have. So being post-disciplinary is something that is very much in the future, but it starts today. It is something that we need now in order to be prepared how the future of science looks like. It is almost impossible to work on methods because methods are currently transcending all sorts of knowledge domains and not be post-disciplinary. Of course, you can focus on one method and then it's very, very uh, actually not only convenient, but it's logical to be within one discipline maybe even. But if you try to combine things, if you try to innovate, you need to transcend, you need to combine, you need to cross. And that is the difficult thing that it takes because 
all the constructs that we have. They determine our funding schemes, they determine our education, and they determine the brains of even the brightest. Because most people today that are on top of research, they started within a discipline. That is the struggle. That is very true. So and that's why we need to plant these seeds now. And we need to make it clear that people not only have the capability to find their own way, but the structures are shifting in this direction. And this is a very much needed trend. So what I say is a go deep, spend your time, really try to focus on a focused, deep and also reflected education. And if this is called disciplinary, that's okay. If you know that this is a construct and that you can go well beyond that, because this is what you have to do. You have to combine, you have to transcend, you have to innovate and ultimately deconstruct, go out of the scientific discipline because no discipline is better than the other. We need them all and in the end they will vanish.